Today, we're gonna be taking a look at some Timu mycology finds for you, or maybe some good holiday mycology gifts for some friends or family. I happened to need to order some stuff from Timu for another project, and while I was there, I happened to find a bunch of mycology items and figured it would be cool to test some of them out and review them after a little bit of using them. Some of these I have already opened and I can review and the rest still need to be tested. However, I am pretty happy with everything that I've gotten so far, so I figured I'd share that with you guys. Let's start by taking a look at the liquid culture items that I got. I got this 50 pack of syringes for $9. I've used a few of them so far, but these will last me quite a while. I also got these syringe caps for $3 and this 114 inches of surgical tubing for about $4. I'll be using the surgical tubing for liquid culture jars in the future so I can use needleless injection uh, to keep everything entirely sterile with no introduction of an out outdoors needle. Moving on to stuff I got for my liquid culture jars, I got this 50 pack of synthetic filter patch discs. Uh, these are great, uh, I can use these as opposed to micropore tape on my lids. Plus, I got this 50 pack of self healing injection ports for about $4. And these will last me a while, uh, and I can use them on my modified lids. Now, moving on to these glass uh, media bottles, reagent bottles, they're about $17 for the two of them. But you can see I've already used them uh, for agar work, which is super nice for uh, sterilizing. They're safe to use um, in an instant pot or a pressure cooker. And they can be stored in the fridge to keep my extra agar uh, ready to use. Now for once I've harvested some of my medicinal mushrooms, I've gotten this 18 pack of dropper bottles uh, for just about $14, uh, but I can use these to store my tinctures that I make in the future uh, and they're amber to make sure the light uh, does not degrade them. Now onto these borosilicate agar dishes. Uh, they are autoclavable. Uh, the issue with these though is that first about three of them broke uh, during transit, which is unfortunate, uh, but I still had about seven that are safe to use. They cost me $16, and while they're not great because they lips overlap, I'll show you. If we unbox this guy, you'll see there's the bottom part of the dish. Oh, and here's actually another broken one, so that's four now. So there ended up being another broken one. So five or yeah, five all together. So half, half of them broke, which is not great. However, if you look, they sit on top of each other like that. Uh, the smaller piece is the bottom. Uh, and I'll show you how I store these because of that lip. It makes them super inconvenient to pick up. However, for storing them, once the agar is cooled, I put them upside down. That lets the condensation fall. And uh, to me, it seems like the most uh, easiest way to actually transport them. Here is going to be one of the poured ones that I have. Uh, they're pretty nice, uh, but I haven't worked with any yet for actual culturing, so we'll see how they turn out. And next, for our agar work, I did get this $8 set for 13 pieces of agar tools. Comes with this nice little bag. Uh, but as you can see, these are all nice scrapers, flat. That'll be good for cutting this large one for transferring good mycelium and little scoops that I can use for measuring, um, for measuring out nutrients. And while I didn't get much, it all turned out pretty well. And for the price I paid, I'm pretty happy with everything that I got. Let me know if you have any other items that you found that you enjoy. But if you're looking for some budget friendly mycology gifts, these would be some good options. Thank you very much for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next one, Fungi Fanatics.